morning, everybody. Welcome to 6.30 a.m. All right, guys. So welcome to the next day. I think it was like 11.30 last night, or 11 at least, when I last saw you. Now you're back. Neighbor's pond is full. My ponds are getting full. That's the bad part. Everyone, everyone is trying to get haying done so sprinklers are not running like crazy. And they're starting to get messes. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's my sprinklers do to Um I'm hoping to have another good day with the chopper. The knives are shot, the cutter bar is shot. We've been manually setting it, you know, like I was talking about, we have to open that entire thing up and crank that bar back with a wrench because of the air codes. Hoping to have another good day with it so I can finish the 20 mile hauls because that pit will be done if I can have a good day. And then we've got another two solid days over here hauling to the big feedlot here to wrap up wheat and the wheat is turning I don't know if you can tell we've got a field of wheat right there that one is fairly dark compared to a lot of them around here a lot of wheat is starting to get that gold color to it this heat is turning it fast which it's not surprising this time of year this is like around the time guys with combines usually start trying a patch here and a patch there because wheat harvest for grain is usually done uh 10th of july ish so oh, go start greasing the chopper get it ready and hopefully see one piece of new paint maybe even two pieces of new paint today we'll see how it goes I'm talking to dad just now though it sounds like our our plan's already been thrown for a loop because Blanc is going to be gone today and none of us were expecting that. Okay, so a few updates. Both choppers headed to the field. Colton's running number two, headed to some of his ground. I'm in mine, headed over over yonders. I think there's 60, 70 acres where I'm going between a couple of guys. So hopefully I can get that knocked out and get moved back over here and get some work done. Um, but I told Dad, we are we are officially out of duct tape solutions on this thing. It's going in the shop tonight. The stationary knife, which is the thing I'm having trouble with, and we've been setting it manually every morning. It's, it sucks to set it manually, but it's not that big a deal. But we are completely out of adjustment. It has sucked all the way in. Our knives have just a touch of carbide left, so we're going to change knives, change the cutter bar tonight and tomorrow morning. The problem with that is John Deere's fancy new upgraded bolts that they put on these are the biggest pieces of crap. The heads of them are a third gone. There's three bolts per knife, 48 knives. Every single bolt we're going to have to weld a nut on to take off. That's how bad a shape they're in. We called the dealership to make sure you know it wasn't an us problem. It's like, oh no. Everyone's having trouble, so. Yay us, I guess. So what should be uh, a three-hour project to change the knives is gonna be probably like a six-hour project. Well, I'm hoping it's only a six-hour project. So that's disappointing. Um, had some trouble with the tune merger, getting it up and going this morning, and Blanca being gone all of a sudden. Uh, Glenn, I guess, is going to run in, so he was getting it ready and going to be behind me. Um, deer called this morning. They got the oxbow hooked up, fired it up, oil draining all over the place. Oxbow had some major issues when they put that one together. So they're scrambling to try and find bolts to get that thing put back together. So I'm riding along hoping to see two new friggin' pieces of paint today, but 
by the sounds of it, we're not going to see either one, so we're just going to sit back and enjoy another day in this chopper. It's air conditioned, We've got the iPad in here for some music, radio, get really bored, YouTube, and try to stay out of the 100 degree heat outside because it's hot. Neighbors swap with our coaching. Makes good cow people. Either way, I've got like another five miles to go to get to the field. Let's go see what we can get done today, huh? We had pretty good luck with that coon for the years we had it, but man, when it was done, it was done. 
This one doesn't have quite the options of the other one, but hopefully it's a lot better. Oh, rough. So there goes camera on a blast load of the night. It is, oh, let me clear my error codes, 7.39. It'll be 9 o'clock before he makes it back. It is 22 miles from this field to the pit. But that finishes off the pit. So tomorrow, what's left here, which we got the inside four towers, just a little bit out here. This stuff's gonna go to a different pit closer, I think. But first things first, gotta go get this thing blown off, get it in the shop, get started changing knives. And that is gonna be a massive pain in the butt. Ooh, I even censored myself. Uh, compared to normal because of the wear on the bolts. And it's still one of those things that pisses me off. How can John Deere call a bolt that wears out faster than the previous bolt an upgraded and updated bolt? It's upgraded because they're selling more of them. Ah. New knives are in. Got to torque them in the morning. But... Look at those bolts, how, how nice they are. Here is what we are dealing with. Yeah. This is John Deere's new and improved bolt. You try to order that part, they send you this part. Ruined three different sockets trying to get them rounded things off. Luckily, I only had to weld a nut on one of them to get it off. What time is it? 11.30. Cameron just walked out. Bart left about 15 minutes ago. Knives are in. Now we got to torque each bolt and adjust the sharpening stone. We're ready to roll. And then the sensor I've been fighting should be here about nine. Yeah, UPS nine. So hopefully by the time this thing's ready to go, we got the sensor. We're rolling. We'll see how it goes. Either way, guys, it's 11.30. I'm going to bed. I am tired. My eyes hurt. It has been a long, long day. Talk to you guys later.